We're in for the long haul, folks, on Yokai Watch Part 50... 66. Anyway, this is Sandy. <laughs> Sandy is a rank S Yokai from the Eerie Tribe. She's a fairly bulky and fast spirit attacker. Uh, so Sandy is actually the exact opposite of Insomni, whereas Insomni le never lets you never lets you sleep, Sandy keeps you asleep. And we're not talking Baku, who just puts you asleep and you, you just wake up whenever you're, you know, whenever you're done sleeping. No, Sandy will put you into comas. Okay, I I was gonna say it's like we're talking coma levels of sleepiness. I'm like, oh, okay. Like yep. whereas Insomni likes to party, you know, with everyone awake, you know, party all night, go clubbing and shit. Sandy likes to party in your dreams. So she'll put uh... you to sleep and never let you wake up. Oh my! Wow. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, yeah. So apparently she just wants to throw like a big party in the uh, freaking Nightopia. Sure. <laughs> oh, I mean, God. look at the color scheme and everything. Clearly, she's a Riala fan girl. Oh, she God damn does it. She kind of look it, doesn't she? <laughs> With the pale I'm, skin and the red hair. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Huh. You know what? And that's funny I, since Insomni's purple. Huh. I. That, oh, my God. <laughs> I cannot unsee Riala now. It's Riel Riella with tits. <laughs> They're probably dating. Who knows? <laughs> uh, maybe. I chip it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and that's it. Let's play over. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, everybody. Since you'll give me Business some sweet it. dreams, sure. Just stay over there. <laughs> Mrs. Sandy, bring me a dream. Do, 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 do. Like, just go, just keep playing with the Nitopians over there, over in my dream. That's <laughs> barren as fuck. Anyway, next brand new yokai. We actually, see, that's actually him walking right there. First treasure. Anyway, there he is. Okay, that's where it's like, it's like, dude, he's like freaking like stalking right up your ass. <laughs> This is Swell Terrier. Swell Terrier is a rank S rare metal yokai from the Charming Tribe. Uh, obviously, just the recolor of a uh, of, uh, of a Chihuahua. Uh, he's very fast and a very hard hitting spirit spirit attacker. And now Swell Terrier, like Sandy, is actually the opposite of his counterpart. Whereas Chihuahua obviously dealt in ice, uh, Swell Terrier deals with fire. And whoever he in spirit just makes them feel very hot, like. You know, just you ever have those just just, just those random heat moments? Like you just feel hot out of nowhere. That's Will Terrier. Yeah, I, I got hot flashes. Yeah, heat flashes, effectively. Okay. That being said, though, may I request a Yokai Watch Christmas special, starring Will Terrier here and Chihuahua. Wait, why? We have Old Saint. Tr <laughs> Did you forget about Old Saint Trick? Well, uh, well, no, of, co of course. How can I forget? I'll say trick. I no, did. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we know you did, Daddy. And then it comes out. No, no, no. <laughs> make, make a, make a like. No, I would like two Christmas yokai watch specials. It's like he's Mister Freeze, Mister He's Mister Snow. <laughs> okay. They call me Chill Wawa. Whatever I touch. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright, so with that, that, with that said now, sorry. Um, that's as far as we're going to go for the with the Infinite Inferno right now. Because we've actually gotten, believe it or not everybody, every single possible overworld yokai that we could get. <laughs> that's no, we got, long enough. We, there are still some left over, of course, but there are different means to get them. Also, as you can see, I've filled up the trophy room. Oh wow! Look! Oh, look at all those Oscars you've won. Yep, those you get. These are all the trophies that you get from doing the Yo Criminals. But I just looked them. All, I looked. I looked up all the passes, uh, passwords, and cheated just to get all these cool. Oh. Just to get all the coins. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Golden Yawn will give you a bunch of coins depending on how 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 you know by how much you fill the room. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So many trophies. Thank you. Take this. Here, take this, and take this, and take this too, and yeah, take this. To get, but to get the remaining yokai that we need, you're definitely gonna need all these coins. Like no joke. Oh, okay. Yep. So now we're gonna show off the QR code function. If you have the um, if you have the yo the the, yo the actual yokai medals, which I like to collect a little sometimes here and there, uh, that you, that you can get from GameStop and such. At, on the back of the coins, there are QR codes. If you scan, oh, shit. if you scan the QR codes, depending on what tribe the yokai is uh, that you scanned, you'll get their tribe coin. Oh, and I guess rinse and oh wait, I'm sorry. The red is brave. So that said, um, I, I scanned all the coins that I have to get a lot of free coins, and now we're finally going to use the cranky kai. And look at that—they even give us the tutorial. Showing that this is the first time I'm in in this file that I'm using the goddamn Crank Akai. Something yeah. that we had access to since the very beginning of the game. Which I chose not to do because that would have spoiled potential. Because the yokai you get out of this is random. It's completely random. And you can only do it three times a day. And as, you, as you can see, I have a shit ton of coins. Ah. Um, so yeah, you can, get, you, can, you can only do the Crank Akai three times a day. And you can't save scum it. It's all predetermined. Unfor yeah, so unfortunately, it, it, like whatever comes out next, depending on what coin you use, is, is predetermined from the beginning of the game. You can't save scum it, which sucks. So because of that, Aww. you actually do, if you do want to get all the yokai, like all the, because there are actually eight Krankakai exclusive yokai, one per tribe. And if you want to get them, you, uh, you gotta actually keep doing it every single day, like I did. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I should be very impressed or very concerned. Concerned. You should be concerned. <laughs> yeah. uh, DJ, I, I, I think you need to see a therapist. <laughs> so that said, um, these these next eight yokai that I'm about to, uh, that, that I recorded uh, getting out, um, along with the biographies, I'm going to, sh I'm also going to tell you guys how long it took, like, like, how long it took for me to get these yokai. So I recorded this game sometime back in around, I want to say, September or October. I think, like, or no, really July. Like, August or so, sometime in that in that era. But whenever you get a black-capped yoke crystal, you get a rare metal, you get a Cranky Kai exclusive yokai. Wow. This, the first one of the mysterious tribe is Frosttail. Frosttail! Frosttail is, 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 is rank S of the Mysterious Tribe. Um, it's a, he's a very fast spirit attacker, and he's described as somebody... Uh, whoever sees Frosttail... I think it's either whoever sees him or whoever is able to touch, touch his tails... Is granted eternal good luck. And wow. I was able to get Frosttail on October 6th of 2016. That was the day when I got Frosttail. And like so, I said, I, I recorded this game sometime in August or September. That was when I started recording this game. And I got, I, I managed to get this guy, like, in early October. So, I guess in a matter of speaking, it's like... Like, it took this, him two This months. is pretty much good luck in itself? Well, I, it says here, it took me 16 days after I got to this point. Because after I beat, after I got Swell Terrier, that's when I started doing the Cranky Kai. It was 16 days after that when I got Frost Tail. Oh. And as you can see, he's a part of the Legends page. You need the eight Crank Akai exclusive yokai to get the final legendary yokai. Oh, okay. The next yokai. And I got this one. This is Eterna. I got Eterna on November 13th. A, a whole month later. <laughs> Eterna. Eterna is rank S. They're all rank S, so whatever. She's the, she's of the Eerie tribe. Uh, she's bulky. She's a fairly bul a fairly bulky spirit attacker. It really only describes Eter Eterna as just an immortal being. Like she's immortal, but only when she holds the staff. If she, if she were to ever lose the staff, she would automatically grow back to old age and probably just die. I guess she's a yokai. I don't know. She's immortal. I don't actually know what she does to people. Whatever. 
That's that's all it ever talks about with her. She, it's, it's that she's immortal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like, wait. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. You kind of lagged for a second there. You said like this yokai pretty much makes you immortal. No, she she is immortal. I don't know. I I, I don't think she can actually make people immortal. She just is immortal. Oh, okay. Because I was and gonna it, say all it if, says if, about if her. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what what else she is. I, I don't know anything else about her aside from that. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say if this yokai possesses you and it makes you immortal, it's like okay, hey Frieza, um, why bother fighting all seven Dragon Balls? Just have this yokai possess you and you'll be fine. Anyway, the next yokai. This one I got on December t on December second, the, the day after my birthday. So a, a little less than a month later from Eterna. This is Auntie Heart, and Inf Uncle Infinite's wife. Oh. Kisses from your new auntie. Auntie Heart. Of the Heartful <laughs> tribe, she's she's actually fairly fast and bulky, and she's a she's an awesome healer as well. And she's described as um with her hugs. Whoever she hugs will turn good, no matter who they are. You can be the most despicably evil asshole in the world. If she hugs you, you'll you'll turn into a good person. Auntie, I think one person out there needs the biggest hug of all. <laughs> he goes by a Donald Trump. <laughs> well, actually, that kind of begs a question. If she can literally, like, you know, if she can basically get rid of all evil and everything just by hugging people and such, it's like, uh, yeah, where the fuck were you all throughout this game's plot? In the Cranky Kai. <laughs> she was stuck yeah, in the Cranky Kai. <laughs> that, if that answers that question, Danny, she was stuck in the goddamn Cranky Kai. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking bullshit. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> oh, for the man. Heartful yokai. Hey, hey. Next page there. You only All halfway right. there. Yep. So, uh, only actually not 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 that bad after that. Uh, on December sixteenth, so only fourteen days later from Auntie Anti Heart. Exactly seven twenty-five p.m. This is Count Cavity. Hmm. Count Cavity. So what, uh, is he like the leader of the Cavity Creeps? Uh, he of the Shady Tribe. Yeah, he's bulky. He's a fact. He's, he's a, he can be both special and and physical. And as the name suggests, he gives people cavities. That's all he does. Ah. Uh, yeah. So Cavity Creeps. Yep. Pretty much. So 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 remember, kids, if you don't brush your teeth twice a day. Count Cavity will possess you. Or, you know, he'll just give you a cavity for absolutely no reason. You know, because he's, he's a dick like that. <laughs> uh, lame. <laughs> which, which explains why even the most, you know, very teeth optimistic people can still end up getting cavities. It's just it's, it's, it's this asshole's fault. God. Cavities suck. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So this one wasn't as bad. Only, this one only took two weeks after Anti Heart. As uh, the next one also wasn't that bad. Um, the next one I got on on December twentieth. So a day a day before Keith's birthday. Interestingly enough. So this one only took four hey. days later. The next one only took four days later. So it wasn't as bad. Four days later. Oh, it's gold! It's gold! Whoa. This is Damona. Thank you for releasing me. Damona. Oh, Damona God. is a, is 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 the Cranky Kai exclusive yokai of the Charming Tribe. She's fairly bulky and a very hard hitting spirit attacker. Um, her whole steal is that apparently she's the princess of, a, of some kind of underworld, netherworld, or something like that, and she has absolutely no emotion whatsoever. Like it's described that um. She traded her emotion for immense power. Um, I don't know what she does to people. I've heard some sources say that she makes it. She, yeah, she effectively does that to people. She she makes people unable to feel anything. But I haven't seen anything official on that. So take that with a grain of salt. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling that there was like some very dark uh, personality with this yokai. Watch it. You know what? It's the purple hair. 
that, that might have been it. It might have been the purple hair. Yeah, yeah purple hair, that's right. Purple means evil. <laughs> <laughs> I will, say, I will say, though, be, uh, I will say, though, like, the color scheme for the kimono, very beautiful. Yeah, I, I strongly agree. <laughs> I still prefer Bizarria because Bizarria is actually based off the myth that I love, but... Anyway, the next yokai, which I received on January 6th of 2017. This is Crunchy. That is also a very nice-looking Krenkakai. Cruncha! Cruncha is of the Brave Tribe, and, um, yeah, he's very bulky and, you know, a very hard-hitting physical attacker as well. Also with the Intimidation ability, so he's just a strong- he's a, he, he's a stronger B-Tall, I should say. Um, he's described as a yokai that can give any human incredible superhuman strength, which I guess sounded redundant to me originally because Mochismo did the same thing. But I guess Mochismo only really gives you bursts of strength, not superhuman strength. So I guess there's a difference there. It still sounds a bit redundant. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, the next yokai. And this one I received on January 29th. So uh, Crunch I got at the beginning of January. The next one I got the end of January. And fun fact, January 29th is my mother's birthday. So cool. <laughs> Aww. Now, we've actually already seen this yokai. Never mind! I'm terrible at editing. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It, we, it was, we, it was a yeah, dummy! We've seen the, the silver doll. <laughs> I am terrible at editing. <laughs> <laughs> it must be this next coin. <laughs> the silver doll! Yes! The rarest yes! of the rare. The, the rarest yokai of all. There we go. A black uh, capped ca capsule. Golden Yawn. Oh, hey! Golden Yawn Amiibo! Golden Yawn! Okay. Um, oh, wow. Okay! He's of the, Definitely not the voice. Yeah, he's of, he's of the tough tribe. Uh, very Wally, much faster and much much faster than Robin Yawn. And really, that's really all described of your Robin Yawn. He's just a, he's a strong, he's a stronger Robin Yawn. That's all he is. I guess he's just some kind of upgraded Robignon, I guess. I don't know. So uh, you give me tro you give me trophy, and then I get caught in Krakakai. <laughs> <laughs> My life sucks. So, <laughs> anyway, oh, damn it. yeah, true, very true. So the <laughs> final, the final Krakakai exclusive yokai. This one took me <laughs> the longest fucking time to get. This one I didn't get until March fifth. So nearly, so o over a month after I got Golden Yawn. <laughs> Can we just seriously make that the official like canon voice for Golden Yawn? <laughs> sure, why not? God damn it! <laughs> this one is by far the coolest of the Cranky Kai exclusives, though. Whoa! This is Shadow Vanocht. Damn! Shadow Vanocht. Shadow Vinoct is, is is of the slippery tribe. He's a very he, he this he's described to be as as Vinoct Shadow, the evil version of Vinoct. He's also described as a yokai who really we should all be dead right now because anyone who sees even glances at Shadow Vinoct will disappear from this world, never to be seen again. Oh, now, how, how, fuck. how much would, how much would, did this have fucked over the Four Swords games with if Shadow Link had that ability? True. <laughs> now the interesting thing about Shadow Vinoct is, even though he's described as so menacing, he's a healer. The fuck? Uh, yeah, he has healing powers. Uh -huh. Whereas Vinoct was just was purely an attacker of Shadow Shadow Vinoct is a healer. I okay. guess that makes sense. It's like. Okay, I will heal your pain by not giving you pain at all, so you'll die. Pucker. Pop Therefore, you existence. you will you will no longer suffer. Yeah, but that are th those are the eight those are the eight uh, cranky kai exclusive yokai. It took from between October to March to get all of them. God damn it! Wow. Yep. And that was me using the cranky kai three times every single day. But with all of them said, let's get that legendary. Summoning legendary. Oh, hey, you got no <laughs> A legendary! 
Oh, this okay. is Gilgaros. Gilgaros. Gilgaros is the rank S legendary yokai of the Tough Tribe. This is by far the strongest yokai in the game. Great defense, very fast, and hits like a motherfucking tank engine truck. Oh, wow. And that's really all he is. He's he's described as the strongest Oni. Stronger than the likes of Gargross himself. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> yep, he is very powerful. Well, so basically, br so bring him along for terror time. and Just be like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, I, I would do that, except I'm not going to do that, because I got my team. Yeah. And that's exactly, <laughs> and that's actually what we'll, be, what we'll be doing next time, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, next time on Yokai Watch, we wow. will be tackling Terror Time. Alrighty. We'll see you, we'll see you all then. Oh boy. <laughs>